So which one's your favorite? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet my industry hero. Trisha is one of the main reasons I came here to Purdue. So being able to see her in person, in the flesh, it's gonna be pretty insane. I can't wait. So Sarisha is among the few uh, Indian origin astronauts that have been to space. And uh, she's someone I've always looked up to, being an Indian woman myself. So which one's your favorite? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh my, oh my goodness. It is an, it's, it's, it's an absolute honor to be standing in front of you in person today. <laughs> I was like, my shoes are really squeaky going up here, so I'm glad I snuck up on you. <laughs> I love um, this. Thank you so much. I, you know, it's it's something that I've been wearing in pursuit of my dream to becoming an astronaut. And here you are, right here, an astronaut in front of my eyes. That's that's insane. Oh my god, <laughs> I love that it says Mars astronaut. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, that was something uh, you know I, I I definitely wanted on my flight suit. That's not something you see on other astronauts' flight suits. And I was like, because my goal is Mars, I want yep. it to be very clear, Mars astronaut. Mars, I love yeah, it. Yeah, I'm sure you know, just like you know myself, growing up, we didn't have a whole lot of role models that resembled us. And um, for me, the main person really was Kalpana Chawla. Yeah. And she was before my time, essentially, you know, she, she had tragically passed away. Being able to see an Indian woman like yourself, you know, shattered this grass ceil uh, glass ceiling, essentially you were doing it in real time for me. I watched uh, the launch with my little sister who was at the time, she was 12 years old. And I remember my sister said in that moment, you know, what's that Akka's name, which you know, in Tamil <laughs> yeah, yeah. is yeah. older sister. You are, making it happen in real time. So so what does it, you know, feel like? How does it feel like for you to be the person that is doing it, that is shattering these glass ceilings actively, being this representation for girls like yourself? The beautiful thing is it feels like myself. Um, for once I can really just be myself and be accepted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the fact that it's had this incredible impact, right. it makes me feel very uh, amazing. And as you said, I actually looked up to Dr. Chawla mm -hmm. growing up. Mm -hmm. I've never met her, right. but saw her go to space um, and you know, just seeing her do the things that I wanted to do, just mm -hmm. reduce kind of a mental barrier that I had put up for myself. Right. Um, yeah. Just seeing someone that you shared an identity with, a culture with, Mm -hmm. um, really allows you to put yourself in that headspace that you can achieve almost mm -hmm. anything you put your mind to. What would you say are some of the biggest, you know, takeaways from Purdue as a student? The education I got at Purdue, it mm -hmm. was aerospace engineering, mm -hmm. has actually been incredibly helpful right. in business development and policy because I'm able to understand technical concepts mm -hmm. and communicate it out to a population that has not studied in great detail these concepts. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, that's another reason why I never took uh, writing and communication classes here at Purdue for granted, because I yeah. knew that they would serve me well. I, well. I feel like this is a very cliched question to ask an astronaut, but I've just always wanted to ask it. What was it like? I knew you were going to ask that, and I still don't have an answer. <laughs> um, I have said this, actually I've said this multiple times, and I'm just going to repeat it. I'm sorry. Um, I cannot think of a word besides incredible mm -hmm. to describe the experience. And I literally Googled synonyms for incredible and like looked through the list and I was like, nah, <laughs> none of these really like encapsulate how it was to go to space. And it's because it's, it, it's more than just the, the feeling of going to space. It's an experience and it's a complete journey Absolutely. that honestly started way before we took off and lasted much long after we landed mm -hmm. and all of that just it's the view it's floating in weightlessness it's the journey of getting to know your crew and sharing it with your crew mm -hmm. all of that really encapsulated going to space and i honestly i really can't think of any other way to describe it with mm -hmm. words mm -hmm. and i am so so excited to send up artists and professional communicators and poets in the future because I know they're going to come back and be able to share this experience in a much better way than I can with my word I, of I incredible. Sure. But yeah. mm -hmm. it is it, it makes me excited for the future, but it, it just makes me want to send more people up to space so that right. they can come back and just share that feeling because it really is a feeling. It's not something that can be easily can communicated. Words, right? Yeah. Wow. And I, and I grew up uh, probably like you right. looking at pictures of Earth from space. Did you do a somersault? Yes, I did. There is a video of me in space doing a somersault. And 
we, um, so the crew were selected to test out the cabin for our future astronauts. Okay. So we actually, if you look down at our wrist, we had almost every 10 seconds planned. Mm -hmm. And there is one like 10 second period that they were like, Sarisha, do a somersault, like on my <laughs> test card. What was it like to finally achieve that childhood goal? It was a world, I don't, honestly, I didn't really mm -hmm. like sit down and uh, nothing really processed until like months afterward mm -hmm. where it really was like, hey, I, I did it, like right. what's next? Right. And it, it was kind of a really exciting feeling because for the last, mm -hmm. you know, 33 years of my life, I had been working towards going to space and now mm -hmm. I have a clean slate to think about what my next goal is. And I've always been a goal oriented person. I'm not one that thrives without some sort of direction. It's just me, <laughs> I've accepted it. Um, so it, it was kind of a, hey, I did it and kind of very excited and anxious about what's next. Mm -hmm. Right after I landed, though, the first thing I did was I saw my dad and my mom. So first thing I did, my dad gave me the biggest hug. Uh, I had sunglasses around my neck. It shat the sunglasses shattered because he gave me such a hard hug. And um, my dad's like, oh, no, I'm so sorry. And I was like, don't, don't worry about it. And then two weeks later, he came to visit me in D.C. And he had glued back together my sunglasses that have gone to space. And he's just wearing them around, <laughs> like doing yard work. <laughs> What does your to infinity and beyond look like? What is your future? Honestly, I have no idea. I am still figuring that out. I think I got to space faster than I had anticipated, which is not a bad thing. But I'm in this kind of space where I'm taking some time to figure out what the next thing is. But in the meantime, I'm just in a position where I can just keep sending up the people to space, which is the dream.